Mr. Degrasse Tyson. Third season. Neil, oh, Neil, well, thank you. Yes. And third season of Cosmos, first one in the 80s? 1980, yes. And yeah, then, second 2014. Yeah. I mean, season is a new term that people mm -hmm. use, but uh, Cosmos is such a production mm -hmm. that it's hard for me to think of it as, well, let's just do seasons of it. Okay. Since they're very significant eggs hatched by Andrian, who is the creative force within it, it's hard for me to think of them as seasons. The, the storytelling, I've seen two episodes already. The storytelling two is... Two out of 13, yes. yeah. It's, It's again what we what we love about cosmos, what we it's like the in DNA cosmos. Of cosmos. Yeah, it's yes. this. You have this. I could say DNA. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, thank you, thank you. Come to my shows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's this broad view of not only the planet and the cosmos as a whole in time, but also humanity. You 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 go to what you could say could be the cradle of science. You visited one of the oldest labs in the world. Yeah. So the. Storytelling involves going to places around the world that mattered, that were pivotal in the history of science, uh, but also even more important than going on location, I think, is the, is the depth and emotion of the story intermingled with the science that we are sharing. The chemistry, the geology, the physics. The, we, we go into the quantum, for example, which was a challenge to visualize, of course. Yeah given the weird things that happen. And the moment you visualize it, it collapses. In the <laughs> <state itself. laughs> no, not we have special... <laughs> <laughs> special devices. Yeah, we have special ways to get around the quantum constraints. <laughs> no strings attached. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's good. <laughs> the amount of people who have been inspired by this first series and got into scientific careers. Repeat with me, billions and billions of people. <laughs> <laughs> billions and billions, billions, of, billions. And billions of people. <laughs> but one of these people was Seth MacFarlane, for example. He he was really passionate about this first series, and he also played a role in, in getting it back on screen. To... Yeah, one day I'm having lunch with Seth MacFarlane, and I thought, well, maybe I'll see if he would fund a pilot because he, he surely had enough money just to experiment yeah. in this way. And at the time he said, no, I have a better idea. Why don't I take it to Fox? And I said, okay, that's the worst idea I ever heard <laughs> in my life. This is not good. He, he doesn't understand. He can't. And then I said, well, wait a minute. Fox is a huge operation. Mm -hmm. There's Fox Business, there's Fox News, there's Fox Sports, there's Fox Flagship, there's Fox the, the, uh, 20th Century Fox Films, there's Fox Studio. And I realized so that if it appeared on Fox, more people would have access to this content than ever before. So Seth brought it to Fox. That's amazing how one of my comedy heroes, then one of my sitcom heroes, and then and Andrian, who who worked on I think the Golden Record, yes, that yes, went for to Voyager space. One. Yes, this is kind of an Avengers the team. Avengers. <laughs> yeah, it's like superheroes <laughs> from all the angles come together to only make. Iron Man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we only need an athlete, maybe Lionel Messi or something, and fit it in there. Yeah. On your travels, you I'll were be in Thor too, if I have oh, to. Be. Oh yeah, yeah I'll be. fetch you the hammer. Actually, you know what I really want to be? I want to be Black Widow. Oh, I just um, want that flexibility. I want to be able to kick ass in, in, in a very uh, flexible way. Okay, yeah. <laughs> flexibility, yeah, it's, it's long gone for me too. I like, <laughs> can only dream. You visited Amsterdam too for the yes, series. Yes, we did, and uh, many countries, and I particularly in, enjoyed Amsterdam. I just want to show off that uh, for this evening, because mm -hmm. we have a, 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 a screening this yeah. evening, I'll be wearing this tie, and this is my... Well, yeah, we have a lot of we have a lot of the sounds. My foreign friends always say they always say Dutch is not a language; it's a disease of the throat. So that's what we do. I, I've got a Van Gogh NASA sweater. Uh, oh, okay. I'll wear it. I'll wear it tonight. That's a logo in for the and then the the Van Gogh around it. Yeah. A proper telling of the history of science requires going all over the world, to Africa, to Asia, Europe, 
Uh, yeah, fortunately, the budget was sufficient to accommodate yeah. that. Okay. I'll tell you something. Don't tell anybody. Um, we couldn't go to all places. Okay. The budget didn't do it. Yeah. And one of the pace, places we green screened was the Brooklyn Bridge <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> I live like four blocks from the Brooklyn Bridge. And, and so I'm in front of a green screen pretending I'm leaning on the railing of the Brooklyn Bridge. And well, I said, damn. You, you did the right accent. So that was <laughs> a New York accent. Yeah, Thank you very much. This was a oh, pleasure. Excellent. I'm delighted to meet you. We're, we're wow. partners in this effort yeah. to, um, to bring science and the universe down to earth uh, on stage and screen. <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence Krauss once said, you're doing God's work. Uh, when, when I told him I'm a science community. It's great when an atheist says that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've got a little gift for you oh. that I don't know if you're going to use. It's a, one of the t-shirts of our science communication collective. Mm -hmm. It's a Nerdfluencer. Nerdfluencer, very <laughs> yes. good. Because that's what we do. We influence, of course, the people who are interested and the nerds. Yeah, hashtag Nerdfluencer. Nerdfluencer.